Hi guys, it's Rampin FM, and today we continue our Ken Beef career. There's a lot of things I just want to talk about just before the game. I've noticed at the start when I do these episodes, it's like FM isn't correct. Like at the start of this game, I don't know if you guys read it, but it said like Anon, it's worth noting that Anon have not lost to Ken Beef in the last four meetings. I think that should be the other way around. I have noticed it before, but I've not really commented on it because I've thought, well, I didn't actually know if it was true, so I, I don't believe it's true. It's just a really weird, weird thing that I seem to have observed sort of more recently in the, the latest what videos I've recorded. So we do play Annan in the quarterfinal of the Scottish Cup. It's crept up on me, to be honest. As I said, we weren't really expecting the Scottish Cup as much. Uh, I can confirm that Celtic are out. The biggest team in it is Aberdeen, who we could possibly get. It would be an, a, an amazing achievement if we were to get to even the Scottish Cup final. Uh, possibly even win that. That would be amazing. Uh, and we're one up. Brilliant. I think we're going to win today. Uh, let's put it that way. Annan have done tremendously well to get this far, but we are a better team than them. In terms of their team, I do believe I've got a youth player out on loan to them. I think his name is Greg Kelly. He's a regen. It's 2 now. Yeah, we're, it's, it's going to be a, a straightforward victory for us today. I don't have any worries or it's, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're absolutely strolling this, guys. Uh, someone had mentioned, obviously, they would like to see longer episodes. It's something I probably will bring in in the future. I tend to try and keep them short because I like focusing it uh, like one game at a time sort of thing. I don't sort of like to go over too many points because you kind of get to know that with the journey. I don't want to like, I, 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 do, I feel like sometimes I repeat myself in episodes and certainly if I was to for example, if a player was injured and I was to continually mention it every episode, I think that would just be uh, wouldn't be too great, I don't think. I mean, there are people that are sort of have a really good way of doing it, I think, um, but I don't think that's in my range to do that sort of thing. Uh, just the way I, I like to do these episodes, I like doing it game by game. Uh, certainly I do mention the big things obviously, uh, there's probably a lot more to talk about in terms of uh, when we get higher up the leagues and who's doing this and that, but I mean because it's, Scot I think it, if I was in a different league it would uh, be a wee bit better but because we're playing the same teams over and over again in the Scottish leagues it's really hard to try and uh, find something different. I could go into showing you a wee bit more the training aspects that I do, the staff aspects. It's really up to you guys if you want to see the sort of behind the scenes stuff. But really, nothing, I don't really change a lot. We're going to go with this weird formation again. I don't really tend to change too much in terms of uh, when, I, when I'm when i recording these episodes for you guys. I go with the same tactic, I pretty much go with the same team depending on injuries. So, I don't know, let me, let me know your thoughts. Anyway, I, would, I really appreciate that. Uh, as I say, it's going to be a straightforward win. I have, we're going to be in the Scottish Cup semi-final. It's an amazing achievement. We'll probably play, I think it's Hamilton or Aberdeen, I think. So it's looking close between Hamilton and Aberdeen. So, yeah. Uh, so what did you guys think of the England versus Belgium game? I actually thought it was a wee bit drab to be honest. They were both playing their B-sides. I think England might actually get to the semi-final. I think finishing seconds actually kind of helped them. So it's a, it's a, a weird one. I, I, when I first looked at the, the sort of way the things would go, I thought England could probably only reach the quarterfinals. But obviously, you guys know I'm a Spurs fan. Harry Kane is one of them players that literally can you, you wouldn't think he was playing and then all of a sudden he gets the goal and you think he's played amazing he's one of the he's world class in my opinion obviously I'm a bit biased being a Spurs fan but and with England having Harry Kane I think they could they could make it to the semi-final 
So we're coming towards the end of this game. It's been an easy win all round. Pretty straightforward for us there. So we are in the semi-final of the Scottish Cup. Where we will play... So we do have Aberdeen in the semi-final of the Scottish Cup. We have had a bit of a mixed time afterwards. Uh, we've had a couple of losses and a couple of wins. It's all sort of self-explanatory. I'm not going to go too much into detail. Dundee United are obviously fighting for their lives, so they just came out and uh, thrashed us, to be honest. Clarkson, who is joining us next season, got a goal against us, which I wasn't too fond of. We'll be coming back for the... Iron Brew Cup final against East Fife. Um, it could have been Kilmarnock we got, but we ended up with East Fife. So, another Fife derby. Really looking forward to that. And hopefully we, we can win the Iron Brew Cup in consecutive seasons. It will be the last time we are in the competition because we got promoted. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We will come back for the Iron Brew Cup final against East Fife. It should be a good one. I still believe they have the same manager who we had a bit of a rivalry with uh, back in League One. Let's try and get a League and Cup double. I appreciate all the support as always. I will see you soon.